Endometriosis is a prevalent, chronic and debilitating condition affecting about 1 in 10 women of reproductive age. There are many symptoms of endometriosis. The most common are dysmenorrhea, dyspareunia and pelvic pain. Symptoms often vary and may differ from patient to patient. This is complicated further as symptoms caused by endometriosis are easily mistaken for those of other conditions. A definitive diagnosis of endometriosis based on symptoms alone can therefore be difficult, leading to an average delay of 8 to 10 years in reaching a diagnosis. Endometriosis is characterized by the presence and proliferation of endometrium-like tissue outside the uterus. For instance, on the fallopian tubes, on the bladder, and other pelvic structures. This tissue forms so-called endometriotic lesions that are associated with chronic inflammation and can result in adhesions in the pelvic cavity. Three main types of the disease can be distinguished. The endometrial lesions are influenced by the female hormone cycle in a similar way to the endometrium itself and respond to estrogen with cell proliferation and lesion growth. In contrast to the uterus, a chronic inflammation is observed in the area of ectopic endometrium. A range of medical therapies as well as surgery, often in combination, are used in the management of endometriosis. Medical treatments can be categorized into painkillers, which only treat the pain symptomatically, and hormonal treatments, which influence the underlying pathology. Since endometriosis is an estrogen-dependent disease, one common mechanism of hormonal treatment is to lower the level of estrogen far enough to starve the lesions and so reduce the symptoms of endometriosis, but not so far that hypoestrogenic side effects result. In addition to this mode of action, progestins have additional local effects. <laughs>